What is good, everybody out there? Shouts out to everybody who's watching this. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and do that right now. I'm on a road to a thousand subscribers. So with that being said, it's your boy Fireman E. Watching Fireman E reacts. This is where we watch lit videos, react to them, state our opinions, state how we feel about it. And as you can see up there in the title, we about to get to something a little bit crazy. So today we will be reacting to the top 10 scary 2020 predictions that came true. Now, when I think about predictions myself, it's like, you know, is it is it really a prediction or was it something organized to align to that? So that's why I'm looking at most predictions. And sometimes, you know, just coincidental or it could be a real prediction. So right now we're going to react to this live. Never seen a video. So we're just going to get straight into it. Have a little fun with your boy, you know. Let's get to it, y'all. And... By the year 2020, I for sure thought that we were going to have jetpacks and flying cars. Kind of bummed out that that didn't happen. But there are countless other predictions that have come true that are just way more terrifying than flying cars. Turn it down a little bit. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Most Amazing Make sure y'all can hear I'm me. I'm your host, Lindsay Adam, and today I'm bringing you the top 10 scary 2020 predictions that came true. Starting off this countdown, we have Number the Personal Companion. In the 1999 book titled Business at the Speed of Thought, Bill Gates had a prediction surrounding the technology Bill in 2020. Gates. He said that in 2020 we would have personal companions. He said that it will connect and sync all our devices in a smart way, whether they are at home or in the office, and it will allow them to exchange data. He continues to say that the device will check your emails or notifications and present so so that right there i i kind of want to debunk that one in my own opinion say that's not a, a actual um prediction it's like he's in the technology he probably behind the scenes and knowing these different things so it'll sound cool like if i'm working on something i'd be like yeah next week this is what's going to happen and i'm sitting here creating it or i'm a part of it or heard something about it so eh, i don't want to take that but i'm gonna keep listening that just after right? that's the information that you need for example, when you go to the store, you can tell it what recipes you want to prepare and it will tell you a list of ingredients that you need to pick up. Well, doesn't that sound an awful lot like Amazon Alexa, Google Home, and Siri? All these devices I was can present that. you with the data that you ask for. A Google Home can literally link to your other products so you can dim the lights, change the temperature, turn on a kettle or microwave, or start your Roomba. AKA these devices exchange data with each other just like Bill Gates predicted. Then these devices can also tell you about any notification that you receive, just like what Bill Gates also said. So he was pretty spot on with this prediction. Because he did it. Taking our way down to list number nine, we have I just feel like he did disasters. it. Come on, man. The next prediction was made by the famous 16th natural disaster Nostradamus. Nostradamus is known for his book, The Les Prophetines, which is said to hold predictions of future events. He claims that for 2020, he predicted big natural events, like unusual natural disasters. In fact, he said that there could be a record of storms, even mentioning tornadoes and hurricanes being a big threat. Well, we have already been hit with natural disasters this year, such as the Tennessee tornado. From March 2nd to March 3rd, a series of large tornadoes tore through the west and middle Tennessee. As a result, 26 people were killed and more than 300 were injured. It is said that this tornado came unexpectedly and hit at midnight when people were sleeping and didn't receive a warning. Okay, so even with the weather prediction thing, I've seen plenty of things where they would talk about, like, uh, what's it called? Like, uh, people making fake clouds and stuff like that. Not saying they can make a, uh, a hurricane or a tornado. But I mean, it's kind of, that's, that's one of those in between ones. I'm, I'm kind of unsure about that one. Making it that much more deadly. As for hurricanes, well, people are already preparing for the 2020 hurricane season, claiming that it will indeed be very disastrous. Moving on to number eight, we have robot intelligence. For oh. decades, people were convinced that by 2020, robots were going to take over the workplace. Although they haven't replaced humans completely, there are instances where they definitely have. Like the Tesla Model 3 manufacturing line is 95% automated. Or how in most restaurants now, cashiers are being replaced by kiosks where you can place and even pay for your order. And even in grocery stores, there's now a rise of self-checkout machines. But the 
freakiest one in my opinion are the robots in hotels. That's right, robots are now starting to become members of the hotel staff. Some Marriott hotels in Belgium have robots that help with check-ins and even deliver room service. And How would y'all feel if you walk into any restaurant or hotel right now and be like, uh, yeah, I want to go to my room, uh, I want to get a room here, and then a robot just turn around. You probably got the real hair and they turn around like, hi, my name, and you, would you freak out? I think I would definitely freak out because there's no way that you can just take that as a normal reaction like how can you just do that? That's not normal. Like, I think it's just, I feel uncomfortable. I don't know how I would take this new robot community thing, but I would be kind of creeped out. There's no way that you could feel comfortable the first time. I mean, even when we got introduced to like talking to things or touch screens and all this other stuff, you know, the technology that happened over the years. That's, that's, that, that got me thinking right there. To walk in and just see a robot and to talk to you normal and know how to communicate. I don't think I'd be like just chilling about it. I'd be kind of nervous, you know, you never know. What if it malfunction? What if, you know, you just, I don't know. That's just how I think. You know what? I've seen way too many robot movies where they just end up becoming way too intelligent and then take over Something the world. Not right. So this scares me. Yeah, Watch all right, yeah years, I agree. The robots I agree. will be taking over the world. And then you'll have this video and be like, look, Lindsay predicted that. Next time we thought we have the coronavirus. Uh oh, Turns here we go. Turns out tons of individuals predicted that we were going to be hit with some sort of virus in 2020. The one that shocked people the most was made by the psychic Sylvia Brown in her 2008 book titled The End of Days. In her book, she wrote, and I quote, In around 2020, a severe pneumonia-like illness will spread throughout the globe. That's freaky. But mm. more individuals have predicted this and not just her. In 2019, a bunch of predictions for the following years were posted on the World Predictions Group, which is basically a group for tarot readers and psychics. The group is run by Jean Mayle, a professional intuitive counselor. A woman by the name of Michelle predicted, and I quote, difficulty breathing and something bad in the air in China. Difficulty breathing is one of the common symptoms of the virus. It is. And then a woman by the name of Trisha CT wrote on the website that for early 2020 she had a feeling regarding Milan, Italy. Well, we know that Italy was hit really hard with the virus. It's so so when when like random people, not like the medical staff or whatever, these are psychics or whoever she referring to, Sylvia Brown. She said that basically she predicted it or she said this is going to happen she specified countries you know uh, china italy like these different locations the symptoms and you know things like that so are you really like that skeptical about psychic abilities and things like that i know i am like you know like is it true you can't just predict that you know that's just me i i i might be reaching and saying you know that it's nothing else to it sometimes but i feel like you you gotta be open minded about that. Somebody really like they get that detail, you can't knock that. You can't be like, oh, it is what it is. Because I know a lot of people like to debunk things. I'm i I'm just curious about it. It's not like a timer on a, on on this stuff that's in the air. I wanna see it because you know, videos, you know, getting striked for that. So but yeah. Very devastating. Well number six, we have the downfall of the economy. We have another prediction from one of the psychics on the world predictions group. A woman named Paula had a vision of some kind of crash in the economy for April of 2020. Sadly, due to the current pandemic affecting us all, our economy is suffering. People are being laid off work and businesses are closing. Airlines are suffering. Yeah, this is actually happening right now. Essential businesses that are shut down. As a result, it is badly hurting the economy. It's leaving a lot of people vulnerable. So, is this the crash that Paula had seen and predicted? We are now at our fifth and yeah. halfway mark with the car tragedy. Again, we have another prediction posted on the World Predictions Group. This time, it was posted by a woman named Karen R. And she said that in 2020, more cars would be purposely driven into crowds. Well, on Monday, February 24th, a car intentionally plowed into a carnival Oh, I think I've seen that on, new, on the news. I've seen it. were left injured, numerous being children. A witness described that a silver Mercedes broke through the police blockage and headed directly towards the crowd at a high speed. Police ruled this as an intentional crime, making her prediction come true. And of course, uh, we have global warming. That might have happened last year, who knows? I don't know about that. tons of predictions that have come true. The next one he discussed in the book was about the sea levels rising and climate change in the year 2020. 
He said, and I quote, We shall see the water rising and the earth falling under it. Well, sadly, this is true. In fact, just this year, scientists have announced that we are reaching the point of no return. Before, they said we had... Now, I know she's probably going to keep talking about some other stuff, but I've seen stuff years and years ago about, like, over the next few, few years, this is happening. And I also wonder with the uh, World Prediction Group, uh, do they uh, say, like, oh, in 2019, this is going to happen, and we don't speak about it because we're not, like, in this group or this group is not glorified so high to where we run across this information. Meaning they was wrong last year and they said it and then they said this year and now boom, you know, we seeing it. So you just never know. Like, I'm sure this group got thousands and thousands of people in it. So, I mean, I'm just kind of, kind of just taking it in and we see how certain things, like when you see the, the, the ice melting because of how the ozone is affected and things like that. So I've been hearing about that for the last couple of years myself, but if they specify certain more, de you know, certain details, I mean, who knows? I'm, I, I don't want to sit here and just be like, it's true. Everybody's predicting these things. And if you predict the future, eh, uh, how about you predict some lottery numbers for your boy and send them to me? My email is in the description. 12 years to save the planet? No, well, they now drastically shorten this number to 18 months. Because of global warming, the ocean is heating, causing the water to expand and sea level to rise. This in turn will cause flooding, shoreline erosion, which damages agriculture, and severe storms. He also predicted that as a result of climate change, the world leaders will start to take measures against pollution. This is also true. In 2019 to 2020, hundreds of governments around the world declared a state of emergency for climate change. In fact, scientists predicted that this summer is going to reach a record heat high, seeing numbers that were never recorded before. For our first thought, we have the invisible computers. Okay, this one sounds weird, but... Invisible computers. and inventor Ray Kurzweil made a prediction for the year 2019 to 2020, saying that computers will be invisible. He said, and I quote, Computers are now largely invisible. They are embedded everywhere. In walls, tables, chairs, desks, clothing, I've seen that. and bodies. Okay, so this is kind of true. Computers are now everywhere nowadays. From smart homes and smart fridges to tablets. Yeah, the Samsung refrigerator, I've seen that. Built in. And then you have Apple Watches, which allows you to access some features like a computer on your wrist. So yeah, computers are embedded. Yeah, I've seen that with the Simpsons too. Room. I might do a reaction. I might do a reaction to that too. Uh, the Simpsons uh, predicting things in the future. Now I've seen some of those, but I want to react to it live with everybody, and we can talk about it. And even with this video, I want y'all to talk to me down in the comment section and let me know what y'all think of these things, man. It's just you know, it's just something to think about, man. Seriously. Though, not just yet. He also predicted that we would be able to access this from glasses and from our eyes, like in movies. Mm -hmm. Although this hasn't come true, scientists are working on smart contact lenses that are said to measure glucose levels for people with diabetes. So this might also become a normal thing later on in life. Going on at number two, we have the Australian wildfires. Nostradamus is back at it again with another terrifying prediction. This time, he said to have predicted the tragic Australian wildfires. These fires have destroyed more than 6.3 million hectares of land. Woo. It's estimated that half a billion animals have died in New South Wales alone. Their surviving animals have their habitat destroyed, leaving them homeless and struggling to find food and water. Mm. It is said that this is the worst fire threat to the territory in nearly two decades. Well, okay. in his book, Nostradamus mentioned a fire in 2020 and described it as I quote, the sky will be darkened, the field will be burned by heat. Pictures from Australia show how dark the sky was as a result of the ongoing fires. Mm. In fact, wildfires continue to be on the rise from climate change. So it quite so it is quite possible that another large scale fire could occur. And if I have one spot we have the miss out Okay, before we get into the last one, when it comes to you know, because I'm a firefighter if you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I am one of those essential workers that, that, that actually still works during this whole thing that's going on in the world. Um, so when it comes to like wildfires and things like that, like we've been fortunate enough to understand certain behaviors, but also, you know, it kind of bothers you in certain instances, especially when you actually, you know, involved in these fires and you know, got to put in some work to, to resolve whatever the situation may be. So I want to just tip my hat to, you know, those wildfire uh, firefighters and how much stuff that I've learned about that over the time. Like I've watched footage, I did a little research 
on how like it go from zero to 100 really fast. So I just want to take the time out to salute that man before we get into number one. But let's get back to this vid, man. Salute y'all for real. Earlier this year, we were threatened with the possibility of World War III. Thankfully, it hasn't happened, but Nostradamus was said to have predicted the events that led to this concern. In his book, he wrote, I quote, The great man will be struck down in the day by a thunderbolt, an evil deed foretold by the bearer of a petition. Well, on January 3rd, 2020, Trump ordered a missile strike which ended up killing Iran's major general, who is said to be the second most powerful person of Iran. Mm. A great man struck down by a thunderbolt? could be interpreted as the major general hit by the missile. And that's all for today's video. Let's move on to our comments. Shout out. Okay, so, I mean, I just want to say thank y'all for watching, first and foremost, but at least about this last video, when things like that happen, and it's so specific, and it's so, like, um, like, highly publicized, it make me think myself. I really kind of, you know, have an open mind on wondering how would somebody do something like that, like, do you have that much of uh, a hate for somebody to do that? Or would you have that much of an intention knowing that it's a part of uh, Nostradamus' uh, prediction? I don't know, man. I just, I'm just open-minded on these things. And I, that's why I wanted to do some reactions, man. I just got to, I want to keep it going. I want y'all to drop some reactions down in the uh, comment sections of things that y'all watch or things that y'all curious about or we can just talk about. So... Thank y'all for watching. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video and tell me what y'all thought about these predictions. Do you feel like they came true? Do you feel like somebody followed a certain plan behind the scenes because they seen what people are saying? I don't know. Just let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to your boy, man, Fireman E Reacts. And we are out. Peace.